Eighth Global Family Office Investment Summit here in uh, Dubai, hosted by the Retosa Family Office. Uh, we are joined by uh, Roger Kingsburg of Gold Global, a uh, Swiss company who is joining us to talk about a little bit more of his business and obviously how this business could improve uh, uh, also the profitability of other companies. Sir, it's good to have you here. Well, thanks for <clears throat> allowing me to explain a little bit what we're doing. Our Swiss company is involved in producing gold coins, but with a specific um, application, which is uh, the registration of gold on blockchain using a state-of-the-art technology, which allows to uh, give to each coin a code number, a QR code number, and therefore irrevocably register the gold on the blockchain upon which we will then issue what is called a token. A token is in fact the, the title of ownership of each gold coin, which is allocated irrevocably to a token. The token then can be purchased by investors, so they can invest in physical gold, uh, which is totally different than what is called paper gold. And those uh, tokens can be then traded on certain exchanges, which we are now giving this uh, uh, liquidity to the gold, which usually is quite a dormant asset. And our formula uh, allows investors to trade themselves uh, physical gold that they own. And it was held in custody in Switzerland with a separate custodian, which guarantees the existence and the securization of the gold in vaults in uh, Switzerland in Geneva or Zurich, where people can also, if they want, redeem uh, their token against the gold, the physical gold that is held on their behalf by the custodian. So we have put together a system where investors have a lot of flexibility and liquidity with uh, physical gold, which is something quite new. And uh, in fact, what we've done We've brought back the old gold standard of one ounce of gold. Each coin weighs one ounce, which is uh, the unit of uh, valuation of gold uh, on the Lond London uh, market, New York, and now also in China. And it gives a certainty uh, to the value of the token, which is then uh, traded. And we have the token here, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Can, we can, uh, yeah, can show it to the camera. We are going to zoom in. This is the token. Now we are zooming in. And uh, this token uh, also gives the people the benefit of uh, a safe haven asset. I mean, standard deviation for gold on these historical mean is very low. The price of gold is really stable. We have seen recently fluctuating around $1,300 per ounce. So it's, um, it's a good investment, right? Well, it's, uh, it's a diversification investment that uh, should be considered in those days of certain uncertainties we have in terms of economical on, and, 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 and stock exchange variation. So gold being uh, you know, a safe haven will give uh, some kind of, uh, of uh, safe haven for, for refuge of value in those days, which uh, you know, a lot of People think maybe we're going towards a certain crisis, and I think gold will be the way to shelter its ourselves from uh, this kind of risks. Now, at this uh, investment summit that gathers more than 400 um, family office, mm -hmm. uh, you had the opportunity to make roundtables, to have one-to-one -one talks. Uh, was it useful to expand your network of acquaintances to? Uh, uh, have uh, a better understanding of how the global family offices around the world work? Absolutely. I think it was very useful for us to come here and be able to present our, uh, our, our sort of a new innovative way to invest in physical gold uh, versus paper gold, because we all know that paper gold is not really backed by physical gold and anything can happen with paper, whereas the gold is a certainty. It's, it's there, it won't vanish, it won't evaporate. So this is, has been well perceived and we feel that there will be uh, an important demand in the future for physical gold. Uh, since it's, it's coming back sort of in, in a way to shelter values and portfolios 
being uh, less at risk for the part which is dedicated to go to physical goal. Um, and lastly, what made you, since you are in business for, you have been in business for many years, what made you embrace the blockchain technology? Well, I was um, curious to see how I could come into the ecosystem of the blockchain and to find a niche where we could uh, position ourselves independently from all, all other type of token like Bitcoin, Ether and others where there is nothing behind. So I thought it would be uh, you know, a necessary thing to bring what we call now a stable coin, uh, a, a token which has a value to it in terms of what is backing it. And I think the most simple thing is to back by gold. As simple as that. So I thought there was an avenue there. I believe we're not the only one having this idea, but we are on the only one having a specific technology to engrave the gold and ensure that the, the gold that we have in custody is the one that the people really have bought and nothing else. And there's no problems in terms of uh, the gold being safe kept. And to wrap up this interview, you have obviously uh, presented your business idea, your business proposition, but um, if you had to highlight, pinpoint the most useful piece of information that you have acquired uh, throughout these two days of conferences, uh, what would that be in your opinion? Well, certainly the one of the issues that is coming up quite often is the fact that uh, uh, the, the markets uh, are showing signs of uh, uncertainties and uh, that, uh, uh, you know, the, the classical method of uh, uh, managing portfolio and uh, asset is going to move and mainly because of the blockchain uh, technology that will help uh, to identify uh, you know, assets and make them more, <coughs> how does this, would I put this, uh, visible and uh, that people will be easily uh, in a position to look through the blockchain exactly what's happening and what's going on. It's like a, a certain intermediation have going, are going to disappear because of this uh, sort of uh, what we call the blockchain revolution, which is now being a fact that people recognize across the world and the banking system and, and other matters also. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kingsborough, for your participation in this interview. Thank you. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to express myself. Thank you very much. That's it. Thank you for having watched us.